So maybe you're a procrastinator. You bought bags of bulbs with good intentions of getting them planted, but there they sit. No worries, Rebecca Coles shows us how there's still hope for a spring bloom. Well, last week's snowstorm caught me holding the bags, bags, tulips and daffodils. And you know me, I'm the thrifty gardener. I'm not going to dispose of these. I'll still plant them. As long as the ground is workable, I can plant them outdoors or I can plant them in pots and force them to grow indoors for a spring bouquet. So it's called forcing. Basically, we're going to pot the tulips up in a container, put them in a chilled environment, tricking them to believe that they've been planted, and then we'll bring them out come February and watch them bloom beautifully. So this is what you need. First of all, I've got a variety of bulbs that I forgot to plant. Well, I didn't forget to plant. I just got too busy. You know how that goes. You'll need a container, and really it's up to you what you use. The key is that whatever you choose, there must be drainage on the bottom. Also, you'll need some potting soil, something that drains well, even though we're not really going to be watering these through the cold storage. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, fill the pot with soil. So as you see, I've got this pot filled about halfway, which is perfect for this size of pot. I want about six inches for the bulbs to be planted. So notice the bulbs, they're different sizes, which is going to make a difference when we plant them. So I'm going to start by taking the biggest ones and literally packing them in on top of the soil. And notice, I'm going to tilt the tips slightly inward. That way, the bouquet will grow up together and won't flop over in the pot. Now I'm going to add a little more soil to cover these and then add the smaller bulbs right around the edges and on top of them. We are literally mixing this bouquet as we plant it, so it's going to grow looking as if it was already arranged. So that should do it. Cover this with soil. Now we're going to water well, and, and the point is we want the tips of the bulbs just barely protrude from the top of the soil. So once we water and the soil settles, we'll know if we need to add more. So then cover it with newspaper or cardboard box. Now the tricky part, we want to keep the pot in a cool location. That means above 32 degrees, but less than 40. Typically, if you put it in the back of your garage by the house, it's fine. Then come February, we're gonna start seeing little shoots that will be sprouting from this pot. That's an indication it's time to move it indoors and buy a window. And in no time, you'll have a beautiful bouquet of spring flowers. So this is one way to use those bulbs you forgot to plant. Let me show you another. Well, remember the goat piece a few weeks ago? They cleaned out the woods, and I thought this would be a great location to naturalize daffodils. What that means is I'll plant daffs here, and over the years, they'll have babies and they'll spread. This is a perfect location, and the cool thing about planting them, it's not formal, no lines, no design. We want to do it haphazardly. Okay, so I'm just going to take a handful and do one of those. Wherever they land is where I plant. Now once the bulbs have landed, you'll want to dig a hole that's about three times as deep as the diameter of the bulb. So I'm going to dig a hole that's about, oh, five inches deep. Okay. Well, there you go. I saved myself money, or at least saved the bulbs. It'll be exciting to see what happens uh, next year. And the nice thing about naturalizing, I don't have to do a thing except for listen to Cooper bark all, all winter long. So uh, stay tuned. Next spring, we'll be able to see this river of sunshine blooming. Staying safe in the garden, I'm Rebecca Coles.